You highly welcome my dear brothers and sisters out there. I'm glad that you just clicked to watch this message today. Today I'm going to be talking about the visitation of planet Earth. And I'm going to be talking about the statement, let us make man in our own image. You need to be able to understand in the Bible, when the Bible says, let us make man in our own image, this we are a group of mighty, mighty men. So now these mighty ones have come together in order to do what they made a decision. Is They said, let us, so they are many, let us make man in our own image. That is the reason why when you go into the scripture, you say it that way. And when you still go in the same chapter number two of the same Genesis, the Bible says, and Yahuwah Elohim made man in his own image. That is to say, he made man, and the man which Yahuwah Elohim made, he took him and then he put him in the garden. So all other mighty ones made their own people in, in their own image. So Yahuwah Elohim made his own also in his own image. And the one that he made, he brought that one and then he put it in the Garden of Eden. And the Garden of Eden now that we are talking about is planet Earth. So planet Earth was completely fertile. That is to say, was the first people that descended, the first people that came here are the sons of the Most High. That is to say, these were the ones that were being made in the image of Yahuwah. So because he made them and he brought them into the Garden of Eden. So now when he brought them into the Garden of Eden, he put them into the Garden of Eden to do what? To dress it. So the planet Earth was empty, was, you know, was still brand new. So what happened is, Yahuwah Allah, he made his own, his own. Because remember, the Bible said, let us make man in our own image. Let us. So now that us now, Yahuwah among the us made his own. So now when he made his own, he took his own and he put them in the garden of Eden, which is this planet Earth. So that was the visitation, the first visitation that happened on planet Earth. So when these beings that were being made by Yahuwah visit, came to this planet Earth, we are being put in this garden, what happened is they left the, their footprint on planet Earth. So when they left their footprint on planet Earth, they went on a journey, on a very distance journey. So before coming back on this distance journey now, it's just like when you go into a place, you see that what? A place that you used to know, but maybe because you went to a different place. Before you return, you see that buildings are everywhere. So it is more difficult for you to recognize where you used to know before because you've been, de you've been there, but just because you went on a, ha on, on, a, on a long distance, on return, you barely recognize the place where you used to know. Where you have been to, I mean, where you, where is your territory? So this is what happened. So now, the moment that these beings were being put in this earth, planet earth, what happened is, they now went on a journey, on a very far journey. These were the first people, these were the people who inhabited the earth. That is to say, who we have been put in this particular earth in order for these people to be what? Be here to take dominion and do everything. But what happened is, they went on a journey. So now, these other beings that came, they did what? After these ones have left, these other beings that came started doing what? Populating the whole places and started building things and started doing a lot of things in planet Earth. But they were not the first to come here. The ones that came here has already come. They came here and they left. So, but these other ones that came, they, they came and they saw things and they had stayed. We are rust. The other ones have already planted their foot. That is to say, have left a footprint on planet Earth to show that they were here before these other ones, before any other person. So this is what Yahuwah did. He planted a garden. And then after he planted the garden, the ones which he has made, he brought them and then he put them in the garden of Eden. He put them in that garden which he himself made. So now when he put them in that garden, now what happened is, the other Mighty ones also may have their own what? Their own ones which they have made. So you need to understand it. So now what happened is, as time goes on now, these other ones from different places where their own mighty ones were, they started visiting planet Earth where the sons of Yahuwah were being planted in. That is to say where they were being put in. So now when they started visiting this particular place, they started changing the outlook 
they started doing what? Doing all kind of things to change the outlook of everything that was going on. Why? Because the sons of this, of Alahim, were what? The, 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 the sons that were being put in that place, their, their, their eyes, it's just like their eyes were being blindfolded by their creator. And that is the reason why when they went on the far journey, other ones that came started doing what? Started completely deciding everything about that planet Earth. So now it is now time for the return of those people who were here at first. So now when those people returned, so they were being kicked. That is to say somebody was, something was being you know, um, activated in them to realize. So now it's like realization that, oh, this thing you're seeing, the pyramid that you're seeing, this one that you're seeing, this one that you're seeing, is this not what the, the, the great ones build it? Is this not what the ancestors did this? Did that, did that? So now they start coming back to their senses. They start realizing that this was the footprint. When you look at these pyramids, this was actually the footprint of the ancestors. That is to say, the footprint which they themselves also left on planet Earth before they went on a very far journey because this is their, they are returning from that journey which they have gone to. So by upon return, they now saw that what everything has been designed but the footprint which was being left by them and by their own mighty ones on planet earth are still there so now through this now they are now being connected back and now everything about them start changing because the way they now start seeing the planet earth is completely different they now start realizing that actually do you know what that this is their own territory actually because they were the first that came here and left a footprint here so, but while they went on their journey, somebody came in these particular places and did what? And did all kind of things. That is the reason why you hear about the parable of the sower. The parable of the sower. So you need to be able to really get understanding of basically, I mean, the root understanding of what is going on planet Earth. So because those people, those people who have gone on that journey now, have returned. They are returning. Now, as they are returning, what happened? They are seeing the same thing that they themselves, the footprints that they themselves left on planet Earth. And this is now going to turn the whole world upside down. Why? Because all this why they've been taught something different. So, but the original beings which were here before are returning and there's nothing that is going to do what? That is going to stop the destruction of everything because you need to understand that as these people were not aware of what was going on or in the sense that they were asleep the enemy sold a lot of what a lot of tongues among these people so what i must say my dear brothers and sisters you need to be able to really understand what is going on on planet earth that the messengers i mean the sons of yahuwah the children of yahuwah the children of yahuwah who have been planted here who were being put in the Garden of Eden are returning. They are coming back and they know exactly what is going on. And they know that their coming here is to come and take the whole planet, the whole world, because they were the first. If you are to put it in that way, they were the first. The moment that the planet Earth came out of water, they were the first to do what? To descend right here. So they have, if you are to talk about planet Earth, they have the right to do what? To claim it to the fullness. So you see all other ones, the moment, you know, you need to understand the reasons why you see a lot of people who are trying to claim a piece of land which they know nothing about. The ancient men who, which came here never even bothered about claiming nothing, you know, because they were the first. So they just came and visited and then they left. But other ones came and they were occupying. They were claiming. So now, since they were claiming it, somebody needed to do what to teach these people a lesson because somebody has been here before you people came here. So this thing is real. So that is the reason why when you go into the scripture, the Bible makes us to understand and the wickedness of man is now multiplying. It was multiplying because of what? Because of their atrocities. Because now they wanted to control. Everyone wants to control. You know, they want to control in another sense. They need resources in order to do what? To, to, to leave it up, up to themselves. So somebody needs to teach them a lesson. The one who has been here, who is more mightier than the mighty. You need to understand what is going on. I tell you the truth. You know, because this is the reality of what is going on on this planet. No, this is them entities that has already come here and they have changed the shape the, the the outlook of planet earth 
These beans that are here need to be flushed. Because this was not how it was before. But upon the return of the mighty ones, they have a, this is the reason why you see that the Bible is a lot of people are having who are having issue with it cannot overstand it. Why it was never, never meant for those them beans. You can't overstand the mystery of the things which is contained there, or the mystery of the things which is written in the uh, um, in, in in the walls of ancient Kemet. Why? Because it was never meant. When we talk about uh, ancient Kemet, we know that Kemet. You know, when we talk about Egypt, we know that Egypt is a babe. It's a small child to compare to the ancient civilization that has been before it. Egypt is what is just the last civilization that has been on what on planet Earth. So I'm talking about the things which the footprint which men of old left on planet Earth. The real mysteries which the men of old who entered into this planet Earth left at the initial time. And this is what is really going on. This is what is turning the whole world upside down. Why? Because the sons of Yahuwah Elohim, the children of the highest. I mean, I talk about hierarchies in the heavenly places. You know, the children of the highest. Because that particular verse that told us, let us make man in our own image, is talking about group of mighty ones. So among that mighty ones, there is mighty that is more greater than the mightier one. That is why you hear about um, the Allahim, the Almighty Yahuwah Allahim, Almighty Yahuwah Allahim. That is to say, the Almighty One. That is to say, because there are mighty one, but there is greater than the greatest. And that greater than the greatest, his children, the children of those ones, were the first to descend to to come into planet Earth and did what and left their footprints in this planet Earth. But you see today what is happening. It came down here and you see everywhere has already been populated. You know, they tried, they built, they put buildings everywhere. They changed the structures of everything. They tried to scatter the ozone layer. They tried to do all kinds of things. So they needed to be taught a lesson. They needed to be taught a lesson. A lot of things needed to be flushed out. I tell you reality. You know, so now the return of those mighty ones, they are coming to do what to wipe.